Yo, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Nick. So, I wanted to bring you guys this information, man. I've been reading articles and stuff like this. I was like, man, let me let me, uh, let me me do some research for myself, man. As you can see on the screen here, we are playing some good old Infinite Warfare, you guys. So, let's just get into what this video is about, man. The PS4 Pro. I don't know if you guys have been hearing about it, um, but the PS4 Pro, they're saying that this thing could top out at 8.4 teraflops instead of the 4 point two teraflops you guys now i'm pretty sure you guys have heard microsoft saying 4.2 teraflops is not enough for native 4k it's not enough it's not enough it's not enough we have six teraflops which is great for native 4k so i don't know if you guys know who mark cerny is you guys he works at playstation he's the one who who comes up with all the madness that's inside of your playstation 4 all the all that good hardware and and graphical power is coming from Mark Cerny, you guys. He's the dude to build your computer and tear it down and fix it back up. That's that's your man right there, bros. So, pretty much, you guys, what Mark Cerny came out and said is, you know what? He said uh, 4.2 teraflops, man. He said that's, that's power, but he said the PlayStation 4 Pro can do 8.4 teraflops. 8.4, you guys. That is crazy right there man so let me read this to you it says it says one of the features appearing for the first time is a handling of 16-bit variables it is possible to perform two 16-bit variables at the same time instead of one 32-bit operation in other words at full floats we have 4.2 teraflops with half floats it's now double that which says 8.4 teraflops in 16-bit computation is the potential to radically increase game performance. Man. That, that's crazy, you guys. So pretty much, let me break that down to you. What he's saying, this full floats and half floats and all this stuff, you guys, is he's saying whatever, like, the GPU inside of the PS4 is, if they only had one, that'd be at full float one would be a full float at eight at 4.2 teraflops so if they only had like one gpu inside of the ps4 pro then it would be running at 4.2 teraflops but it's two inside of there so you have two things pushing to make this thing powerful so instead of one performing uh, one 32-bit operation you have two performing 16-bit operations and they work together you guys they work in sync so each one has 4.2 teraflops which equals 8.4 teraflops in total you guys in total now there was confirmation from uh ea you guys they said 2k17 is running at native 4k on the playstation pro native 4k on the playstation pro you guys that that is crazy i know a lot of people were saying only indie games like older games yeah to run at native 4k but they're saying nah man our 8.4 teraflops is just uh is just uh taking dumps on everybody everybody's getting pooped on right now bros with 8.4 teraflops now i know every somebody's gonna say oh well, computers have this we're talking about consoles bro we're just talking about consoles here man I think that is very, very impressive. I, I was wondering, I said, man, I know, I don't know if Sony went back last minute and just threw in some extra power, man, and said, this is, you know what I'm saying? This would be easier. We could just throw in some extra power, make it work, boom, boom, boom. Whatever they did, man, if this thing can really get, I, I just don't see why you can't just come out and lie to sell consoles. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because they will get heavily sued. I know some people will be like, oh, they're liars. You can't just come out and say, oh, yeah, we have 8.4 teraflops, but it's really just truly only 4.2. You will get sued blind. You know what I'm saying? Sony's not going to do that, you guys. They're going to come out. They're going to tell you the truth about it. Did they go add some teraflops? Who knows? Probably. If they did, good job. I really, really recommended that you did that. Now, we will see when the playstation pro launches you guys pretty sure there'll be lots of people breaking it down seeing what's inside all that good stuff but mark cerny from playstation he has said playstation pro could reach 8.4 
teraflops, you guys. 8.4, not 4.2, not 6. 8.4 teraflops to, to bring you native 4K gaming, you guys. I mean, we'll just have to sit here and wait and see man but that's dope i'm getting a playstation pro you guys let me know down in the comments if you will be getting a playstation pro because i think uh i, I I'm, I'm very sure that call of duty infinite warfare will be running in 4k because the file size is gigantic as hell but anyways i guess we'll just have to wait and see you guys to be continued as you know like subscribe tell your friends about it man peace